guys, it's Charlie. Welcome to Wegugan tip number three. Today's tip is going to help you survive in many areas in life in Korea. For one, at school where you work, if you come here to work, whether it's at a elementary school or a high school, a hagwon, or whether you're not even going to teach, if you're just going to travel here and hang out and meet friends, make some friends, meet some new people, or whether you're planning to work here outside of the education field, this tip is going to help you survive in Korea. There are so many tips that I can give you to survive in Korea, but one of the things that I have learned is sharing is caring. Some of you are probably like, duh. <laughs> but this is especially true here in South Korea. One of the things that you will notice is that everything is pretty much shared here in Korea, especially the food. For one, you share space in Korea. There's no really sense of personal space. But especially in this video, I am going to talk about sharing food. A way to survive in Korea, one of the best ways to get by and to make friends and to integrate yourself very well into the culture is by sharing your food. If you've come here before and you've just eaten your food by yourself and someone was in your presence, you might notice that they might give you a bit of a strange look. <laughs> you should actually offer your food. Offer your food to the person that is in the room and share. Sharing is caring, especially in South Korea. You'll notice that in restaurants, most of the food is shared. Usually you have banchan, which is the Korean side dishes and you actually sit and you share those amongst people. But that's not the only thing that's shared. You can actually share things from ice cream to soup to all kinds of different foods. It's not just finger foods or banchan. You can share so many different things. In the U.S., you might have your own serving of ice cream and each person gets their own serving, but it's actually very common to have a serving that you share amongst two to three people, sometimes even four. The main point that I want to dig deep into your brains is that when you have some food, especially at work or amongst friends, if you have something that you're going to eat right then and there while you're surrounded by people or someone, be sure to offer your food. This is especially, especially important if you are planning to stay here long term because it will make your presence and your experience a lot better. People feel more comfortable around you when you share. You're just welcomed a lot better. Uh, it's considered kind of rude if you don't share your food or offer, at least offer your food. So I have a tip. Sometimes if you offer your food, but you plan to eat it too, you just want to share, don't ask them if they would like to have some. Uh, give them a piece because, because if you offer the whole thing, they might think you're offering the whole thing and take the whole thing. Be sure to ask them if they would like some and actually give them some. This way they can actually have some and not feel like you're just offering it just to, you know, hope they say no. <laughs> so actually take some and give it to them. Some people kind of get off at a bad start uh, when they come to Korea because they'll come to work or they'll hang out with some Korean friends and they'll have maybe their a uh, bag of chips or ice cream or something and we're really used to in the US having our own food. For example, when you go to work, um, you might bring your own lunch and you eat your own lunch. <laughs> That's kind of just how we do it. And we don't really give things, all of our food to people. 
But here in Korea, it's very normal to ask people if they would like some, you know, share your food. Uh, I know it kind of actually makes <laughs> us Americans sound really bad because now that I've lived in Korea for a while, um, it kind of does make sense that you would offer your food to people. It's just really polite, a polite thing to do. So I have become used to offering my food to people. Um, in the beginning, it might be kind of hard <laughs> for you guys because I know that we have this attachment to trying to eat all of our food that we either made or purchased or something like that. But be sure to offer your food. This will give Koreans a feeling of acceptance, like you want to be their friend and that you care about them because you want to make sure that they're eating um, and things like that. Be sure to share your food in South Korea. It will give you a great start and a great continuation to your life and survival in Korea. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you would like to see more. And be sure to leave a comment in the comment section if you have had any funny experiences with sharing your food. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Be sure to click the link for my previous Wegugan tip number two. Hurry, bali bali, it's not going to click itself.